Tea Box is pretty crowded, so let's make some room and take a couple of the newest out for a spin. The phrase, out with the old, in with the new, is one that usually elicits a strong response in car circles. BMW is learning that in a big way, first with the debut of the new 7 Series, and now with the Z4 Roadster, which replaces the American-made Z3. The Z4 sheds the Z3 simple yet classic Roadster styling for a swoopy, edgy, almost futuristic look with Z8 cues in the grille and headlights. But like the last of the Z3s, the Z4 uses only inline six-cylinder power, a 184 horsepower 2.5 liter and a 3 liter with 225 horsepower. No word on when an M-Series might appear. And while a five-speed manual is the standard offering, a six-speed manual, a five-speed Steptronic automatic, and the M3 six-speed sequential manual gearbox are all available. The Z4 rides on an all-new chassis. Wheelbase is longer, the track wider, and the suspension has been extensively revised. There's also a choice of 16, 17, or 18-inch wheels. There's a new level of refinement in the Z4's cockpit as well. Both manual and power tops are offered and guaranteed to put your head in the wind almost as quickly as you can say 2003 Z4. And that's what roadsters are really all about. The Z4 2.5i starts at $33,795. The Z4 3.0i at $40,945. Another new model worth flipping your lid over is this 2003 Audi A4 Cabriolet. Although its ultra-clean lines mimic those of the A4 sedan, amazingly the two cars share no body panels. What they do share is the advanced technology, design, and emotion we've come to expect from Audi. Starting with Audi's Multitronic CVT. Front drive, it's the only transmission available and linked to their 3-liter V6 with 220 horsepower. Audi's still lively 1.8-liter Turbo 4 will be available next year. The Cabriolet's stance is 20 millimeters lower than the sedan and the body lines are uncluttered by antennas as all of the antennas for the radio, available GPS navigation and remote locking are embedded in the A4's composite deck lid. For sudden rain showers, the triple layered top, complete with heated glass rear window, can be raised simply by turning the key in the door lock. In addition to a strengthened A-pillar, active rollover protection bars are hidden behind the rear seat. Top up or top down, the A4 Cabrio is a rock-solid cruiser and really livens up the A4 line. It feels a bit heavy in the back end, but it easily handled every twisty mountain road I could find. A4 Cabriolet prices are comparable to BMW's 3 Series drop tops. $42,160 for the well-equipped V6, while the Turbo 4 is expected to start around $35,000. For 2003, Porsche has taken two of its hottest drop tops and made them a bit hotter. Both Boxster and Boxster S receive updated front and rear fascias, as well as side body air intakes that boost engine cooling and performance. Both Boxster flat six engines receive an eight horsepower kick, with the base 2.7 liter Boxster making 228 horsepower, and the 3.2 liter engine Boxster S punching out horsepower. But we think the significant news for 2003 is the addition of a long-needed heated glass rear window for the Boxster's convertible top. The Boxster's always been a great looking and handling roadster, but under hard acceleration, the intake and exhaust sound from the flat six really lets you know you're in something special. Inside, driver and passenger can take advantage of the Boxster's new PCM or Porsche Communication Management System. PCM combines the vehicle's stereo, trip computer, cell phone, and navigation computer into one centrally located module. In all, the 2003 Porsche Boxster and Boxster S give you everything you need in a drop-dead gorgeous drop-top canyon carver, no matter what the weather. So there you have it, three sunny reasons to consider getting yourself a new set of car keys.